What up? This is Andrew with softwaremedia.com and today we're going to be doing a tutorial and we're going to be in Adobe Illustrator using the pen tool. Alright, I already have Illustrator open with an artboard open with three different shapes. I'm going to show you how to create using the pen tool. So let's get started by hitting the pen tool, which is over here in the toolbar, fifth element down. Click on the pen tool. We're going to start by this top shape here and just start by clicking on the artboard at different spots and as you notice when you click different anchor points are being added to the artboard as you click now I know I'm not getting this exact and I'm going to show you how to fix that so as you know see there's different art anchor points have been added for this shape and there's a stroke and a fill on it well we're going to use the direct selection tool to modify this to look more like this. We're going to grab and click on any anchor point that you've already created and click and drag it into a position that you want. And as you can see uh, what I just did, I modify that and you can modify any anchor point on your object that you've created. Okay, now in order to do this curved object, grab the pen tool again instead of just clicking uh, once all over the artboard you click and drag and that creates these bezier handles that come out and this is what allows you to make your curves and just click and drag on each one of those and now if you want one to be par partially curved and then straight the next point you click your point again and click out and the next point will be straight and you can click and drag again to make it curve. Connect that up. Obviously it doesn't look the same but you can modify it using the direct selection tool however you want. And as you notice when you click on the anchor point the bezier handles will appear so you can grab those and also modify the curve of the object uh, with those. Okay, now we're going to go over here, grab the ellipse tool, and hit, hold down the control, or hold down the shift key, and drag out our perfect circle. Now I'm going to modify the anchor points on this circle to make it look like this. I'm going to click the direct selection tool, click on the anchor point. You notice we already have our beziers, so we can actually curve, modify this in any way like that. We hit control Z here to get it back. Um, this time, as you notice, when you click on the direct selection tool, you're up here in the toolbar. You added a bunch of different options that you could use. Um, we are actually going to click on this to convert the anchor points to a corner, which makes it square. Then we're going to click and drag it up, and that will create your range up effect. Now, say the shape you wanted to add or take away uh, different anchor points. You can do that using the pen tool. Click the little arrow next to the pen tool and you'll get the different options of the pen tool. You'll have a plus sign for adding an anchor point and a minus sign for uh, deleting an anchor point. So we're going to add a couple anchor points to this shape. Add one here, 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 and here. Now we're going to modify those by clicking on the direct selection tool. Grab that, move those, that one in. On in these two go out. As you can see, we modified the object, and now say we want to delete some of these anchor points. We didn't want all of them. Just click on the minus uh, pen tool right there. Click on the anchor point, and it is removed. So by doing this and these different options, you can have many different. Uh, scenarios or create many different objects using the pen tool. Um, one of my favorites is to trace an actual bitmap image that uh, you, you need to convert to a vector image by, and I use that with using the pen tool all the time. Alright, this is Andrew once again with softwaremedia.com for a tutorial on the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator.